Yes, it is a children's zip line, but it totally doubles as a chicken skirt clothesline. <laughs> all of the adult chickens had their bath this week and all of their chicken skirts were washed except for my two broody hens. <laughs> Speaking of my two broody hens, I have good news and I have bad news. Which one should we talk about first? <sighs> Let's get the bad news over with. So, like I told you last week, she was due the next day from our last Friday farm vlog to hatch her chicks. Well, it's been a long week. We're now at the following Friday and no chicks have hatched. I decided to candle the eggs last night since there was still no hatching going on. And sadly, there was no movement in any of the hatching eggs. The chicks looked almost fully developed in size, but no movement. This was Charlotte's first time as a broody mom. About 10 days in, one of her eggs had cracked. It looked like it was an accidental. She stepped on it and it cracked. And I had removed it and I had cleaned her up, cleaned the nesting box and eggs up and put all new hay in there and candling after that. All the chicks were doing good, bouncing baby chicks in there. And so I thought we were okay. But then about 14 days into incubation, I found another broken egg. So my guess would be the bacteria from that egg breaking or exploding affected the other hatching eggs. So unfortunately, a sad day on the farm because those hatching eggs, we were looking forward to meeting those baby chicks and that's not gonna happen. At least not with these hatching eggs. The good news is Fern, my second broody hen, her hatching eggs are doing really well. She has seven, seven hatching eggs where there are bouncing baby chicks and she is like extra vigilant. She has been on that nest and she is very protective of those eggs and she seems to be doing a really good job. We have had no broken eggs so far with her. So I'm hoping that we'll see some baby chicks from Fern's nest. As for Charlotte, I have three options that I was going back and forth about what would be the best route to take with her. So one option would be to remove the dead hatching eggs and to allow her to grieve and hopefully come out of her broodiness to give her body a break. And my hope would be that she wouldn't try to take on more hatching eggs to sit on because that would be another 21 days. That would be a long time for her to have been sitting on eggs. I do want her to be able to have that break. So I don't like that option. The second option we have would be to take some of Fern's eggs and put a few of them under Charlotte to have her hatch some of those chicks. I don't know if that would be successful. If I were to do that, I would do that in the dark of night when everybody's sleeping and just take out the old eggs and put the new ones in but that would mean another 10 days of her sitting on hatching eggs because Fern's eggs aren't due to hatch for another 10 days. So that's a pretty lengthy time to be sitting on eggs. My third option would be to take a few of the chicks that were born in the incubator and slip those underneath her for her to raise. I have done that before successfully and my last broody hen adopted the chicks just fine. I've thought about it long and hard. What I decided was I'm going to set up a maternity ward with a clean nest box and I'm going to move her in there and I'm gonna slip some chicks under her. I am hoping that she will accept them as her own. These are chicks that are hatched from eggs from our flock, so hopefully that goes well however if she chooses not to accept the chicks i still have a second option to fall back on where i could give her some of the eggs from 
for it. So that's the route we're gonna try and I will let you know how it goes. With two broody hens taking up two nesting boxes. The hens have been using this nesting box but they also made a nest next to it as well where they've started laying eggs. better take these eggs before someone else decides to go broody. <laughs> My hens look so naked to me without their chicken skirts on. <laughs> but they look so nice after their bath. This week we just put a net over the raspberries because a few of them have ripened. We've been enjoying delicious raspberries and we do not wish to share those raspberries with the wild bird population. So we have this nice netting right over there. It worked out well because our strawberry patch, we just finished up with strawberry season and now we get to enjoy raspberry season. This here is our third compost pile and I'm so happy we did composting this year because it has been wonderful to have all that excess compost. The potato plants are loving all that compost. The first two compost piles we were able to use that to add compost to our garden, to our raised beds, our pumpkin patch. We were also able to use it in our pond border plants that we planted as well as the thuja green hedge that we have in our fruit tree orchard. The third pile that we have composting now we'll be using for planting more pond plants and also for reseeding our original chicken run. Rooster chicks are now 15 weeks old. They're getting so big. <laughs> it's now time for them to get their own space. So we are building this week a, <laughs> a new area for our roosters. And the smaller chicks that we have in here, they are going to have the whole run of this coop and this outdoor area and then the baby chicks that we have that hatched in the incubator they are going to be coming on out here and moving into the small brooder inside of this chicken coop so it's really exciting the chicks that we have out here are six weeks old so the female chicks will be going to their new homes in a couple weeks three sets of chicks are one week old six weeks old and 15 weeks old and then the broody mama will hopefully have her chicks in 10 days so we have a lot of different chick ages going on right now and we are loving every minute of it it's hard to believe it but fancy nancy our goat is due to give birth in approximately 12 days it's like really becoming like a reality like oh my goodness she's going to have babies <laughs> I am so excited and so this week we are preparing the shed for her we're gonna give it a full full scrubbing clean out and get it full of fluffy bedding in anticipation of the new babies to come <laughs> and we're getting our kidding kit ready to go so we can be prepared in case she decides to kid early or late either way i want everything ready to go for her and she is doing great you want to see her <laughs> she's getting bigger <laughs> Come on. good morning ladies How 
you feeling, Fancy Nancy? <laughs> Auntie Amelia, how are you doing? Oh, don't don't eat my tripod. Yeah, don't eat that. <laughs> Her udder is developing nicely. She's doing well, eating well, drinking well. Still running and jumping. And enjoying her days. So, so far, so good. It's been a busy week on the farm. I love summertime. Everything is fruiting and the raspberries have been so delicious to eat. And we're hopefully gonna have chicky babies and goat kids real soon. We came out with some really great videos this week, like how to keep up with maintenance weeding in your garden, as well as how to create a chicken run for your chickens. You should definitely check those out if you haven't seen them already. Also, we just got in the mail. <laughs> this box, which the contents in this box we will be using for something this week. So be sure to check back to see what we could possibly be doing with all this tool that wants to explode out of this box. <laughs> There is a lot of tool packaged in here and we have plans for it. <laughs> and hey, if you haven't started farming yet, what are you waiting for? Get your farm on. One, two, one, two, three, four. Do you want to farm? A wicked awesome farm. Watch this channel to learn what to do. We love to farm and we'll show you. Yeah.